Right guys, Geordie Motive here, welcome to another video. Um, I want to do a bit of a throwback video today because I miss uploading and I've just been going through my old videos and also planning videos I want to make in the future. So today I'm going to be taking you guys back when I was 18 years old, so five years ago when I went drifting for the first time ever. Now this video is on my channel, however not many people ever saw the video. Back when I uploaded that, I think I only had like a couple hundred subscribers at the time, so I wanted to go back to that day and relive some of it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get into it. All right, good morning everyone. It's Jordan here and today I'm going drifting. Now, before I go any further, I am gonna show you guys what I looked like back in 2015. Don't laugh at me, please. <laughs> My hair was something else back then. <laughs> Still is now. <laughs> yeah, this is literally 36 hours after buying my first car, um, a Mark 1 Focus that to this day, I, I wish I still had it. It would have made such a good daily driver. And back when I made this video, it is one of the reasons why I really wanted an R33 GTST. And now in 2021, I'm really happy to say I did get one. I did love it. I enjoyed it for almost two years. And now I can't wait to get back into another turbocharged Nissan. But anyways, on with the video. So they're going to give me a car. I've got no idea what it is. So that's going to be quite interesting to find out. Um, as you can see, it's also been raining, so that's probably going to help a bit as well. And I'm modifying my car already, so the first thing I've got is an air freshener. The second thing I've got is an aluminium gear knob. Funnily enough, um, when I sold my Mark 1 Focus, I kept the shifter and I still have it. Maybe one day I'll buy another Mark 1 Focus as a daily when I've got a really nice other car and put the shifter back in that because that'll be quite sick. <laughs> oh shit! This is not so easy skyline right there. Uh, oh instructors that you're scared and if you tell the instructors you're scared they will go faster and closer <laughs> to the car in front. <laughs> okay so we eventually got there. Um, really nice drive. It was in Essex. By the way I just want to give a shout out to Learn to Drift. They are the company I did this with and it just so happened that they had S14 Sylvia's and R33 Skylines and they let me have a go in both of them. Um, but yeah, I really did fall in love with the R33 GTST that day. It was such a sick experience. So we started off with the experienced driver, like basically showing me like what I'm gonna be doing. And then after a couple minutes, I switched over. So I'll let you guys watch the footage of that. And then we'll skip quickly to the footage of me drifting a car in real life for the very first time. So as you can see guys, I was having loads of fun. I was going so ham, I actually finished off the rear tires that were in this car. So a couple bits of information about the car itself. So it was a 1994 Nissan Skyline R33 GTST. Um, it had a welded diff, it was stripped out, just bucket seats on the inside, pretty much nothing. I think some of the dashboard was cut out as well, but I can't quite remember. But it even sounded the same as my R33 did, like stock manifold, it was decatted. The thing sounded amazing. And yeah, it was just so good for like the first 18 years of my life, like just loving video games, wishing I could go drifting cars in real life like that. 
I took every opportunity to just go ham <laughs> and I had so much fun with it. But there was a girl in the car, a female instructor with me and she, she couldn't believe how good I was basically. And the only thing I can say to that really is I've spent so much of my life playing video games with a steering wheel and learning how to drift virtually. So when I came down to like doing it for the first time in real life, I sort of just had the knowledge and the passion for going sideways in a car already. So really that was like my first opportunity to just let all the like gaming I've done show into like what I can do in real life. And it was so fun and I really cannot wait to get back into doing skids. Um, I don't remember if I had any clips of me driving the S14, um, but there was also an S14A there, a Kuki, um, SR20, uh, Turbo. I think it, both cars were running stock power, but they all had welded diffs to make drifting easier. That was one of the days where my love for Nissan really started. Um, so much fun, honestly. If any of you guys have never done this, I fully recommend it, trust me. <laughs> But yeah, that was just a video that I wanted to share with you guys because it was a really fun day. Um, there's probably a couple more videos on my channel that I might do this kind of throwback with. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay subscribed for more because I've got big news with my Toyota Super coming and where I'm going to be going, like moving on from today as well. And yeah, many more videos to come. So thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like because it actually makes more of a difference to the channel than I even realized. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys in the next video coming very soon. Peace out. See you later.